for young builders right now and hundreds of teams in the USA. It is called the first Lego League and it gives students hands on experience with robots and coding and fosters a love of science, technology and math. But some students are having a hard time competing with their peers. WMAR 2 News Abby Isaacs is working for the future to show you how they are asking for a level playing field for them and for their cool robots. Three, Three two, two, one, Lego! It's about precision, <laughs> hands on experience, the left button, Theo, and a little fun. As part of First Lego League, these middle schoolers get to build robots, code them, and compete against other teams. You need to hang out with your friends more. The last you get to farm. Okay. Isaiah, did you just say plus you get to learn? Yeah. But for this group, it's different. These kids have it a lot harder. Theo, could you put your fist in the red circle? Uh, Good job. They're navigating a field dependent on sight without it. Are all these red? Out of the hundreds of teams statewide, only two are blind and visually impaired. They're both run by Maryland School for the Blind. With anything else, accessibility is always going to be a problem. Uh, Qualique Ford is a junior coach. He says there are barriers that impact their ability to compete at the same level as their peers. There are a lot of blind students, there are a lot of blind people um, who are interested in these things but shy away from them because they are constantly told that they're inaccessible. Lego reps have come to the school to see what they need, but there are still some changes these students want to see so the equipment is more accessible. Starting with how to build the robots. Right now, their engineering and design teacher, Gina Fugate, has to go through the instructions for them. The visual, like, the instructions for the models, and there's no other way, because uh, they're all just pictures, there's no other way to uh, have us put them together. So. They'd like those available in Braille. And then there's the device they use to direct the robot, called an intelligent brick. I cannot see anything on this screen. They want that brick to speak, so they don't have to rely on others to read it for them. Because we want to be independent. Even the mat presents challenges. It's a map of lines and different colored circles, and knowing their locations is necessary to completing each mission. Of course, if you can see, you can see that on the map. But if you can't see, then you have a lack of information and thus you can't complete one of the missions. Lego did send them this graphic which has raised lines to help the students understand the layout of the mats but they still can't use them at competitions. If we were given access to the materials and um, equipment at a younger age and experiences at a younger age uh, to participate in things like First Lego League, uh, we would ultimately maybe have more people in STEM field. Even with all of these challenges, these students are determined to make the best of the situation because they love it. It's fun learning how to code. It really gets you somewhere. It's the building blocks of a strong foundation for a bright future. In Nottingham, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. Well, the Lego company has launched several inclusion programs in the past year, including new Lego bricks that will help kids learn the Braille alphabet and also downloadable audio and Braille building instructions for 15 different Lego kits.